Hello, my wonderful thinkers and inquirers of grade one. And welcome to our English class. My name is Miss Iman Ruby. I'm going to be your English teacher as I am your homeroom teacher for this year. In this video, you are going to get introduced to all of the fun, all of the subjects, all of the interesting things that we are going to do in our English classes. To begin with, we are, I'm going to talk to you about our curriculum or our book that we are going to use this year. And guys, we are going to have five of this book. We have five units that we are going to cover in our English classes. Our book is called My View Literacy. And every book of the five that I told you about is going to be one whole unit that includes a lot of texts or stories that are connected by one theme. So, let us start talking about these books or these units and the stories or the texts that are found in every one of them. So, we are going to discuss them briefly in this video and we are going to talk about them in our class. But now, let's start by reviewing the main language skills that we, we need to master throughout this year. We need to master listening skills because we need to learn how to hear words and how they, how they are pronounced or spelled correctly so we can speak correctly. Speaking skills also are very important and we are going to practice speaking in, our, all, in all of our classes, especially English and UOI and even math classes because we are going to have what? Presentations, excellent. So we are going to present our work all year long and this will enhance our speaking skills. Our reading skills are very important because you are consuming the language and storing knowledge when you are reading. You are gaining information, you are gaining uh, experience in spelling and pronouncing the uh, words and use them in context. In writing, we are going to have an opportunity to use the words that we have learned. Like you're going to have your own word bank and you are going to use it when you are writing texts and paragraphs in, we, in our writing sessions. And now let us start with the first unit that we are going to study. It is called My Neighborhood as our first theme in our UOI classes and we know that English language is integrated or connected to UOI. We are going to have texts about our neighborhood where we live. like. The first one is called the blackout. How can neighbors help each other? So we're going to learn how we help our neighbors and how are they going to help us. Henry on Wheels. This is the other story that we are going to read. It's about a, a child who is going to take us in a tour in his neighborhood and show us what is there. Look Both Ways is a very important informational text because it shows us or it explains to us the signs that we see in streets and the street rules that we need to follow when we are in the street. The fourth story is called, or the fourth text actually is called Garden Party and Click Clack Click. This is also a very interesting one because, because it teaches us how can we get to know our neighbors. Number five is making a map, and this is a very important skill that we need to learn in life. We need to learn how can we make maps or follow them. So, what does a neighborhood look like? I can draw my neighborhood by sketching a map that shows all the buildings and all the facilities that are available in my neighborhood, right? So, it's, it's a very important skill to learn. Now, let's discuss this unit's theme. Talk with others about my neighborhood. Know about different types of fiction and understand their elements. Use language to make connections between reading and writing. So, in this unit, we are going to learn that we need to talk with each other about our neighborhoods because we are going to learn a lot of things about our neighborhoods. We need to know about different types of fiction because most of the stories that are, or most of the texts in this 
uh, unit are going to be realistic fiction. And realistic fiction means that these are made up stories, but they can happen in real life. Examples, as I mentioned before, we have The Blackout, uh, Henry on Wheels, uh, and a lot of realistic fiction texts that we will enjoy reading. Not only reading, it's, all, it's, it's also analyzing because we are going to analyze the elements of each text and we are going to make connections between reading and writing. Now let us move to Unit 2. Unit 2 is titled as I Spy. Why is it called I Spy? Because in this unit we need to learn how to zoom in, look closer and observe the world around us. The life of a frog is very important. And you can see guys that this unit is mainly science, which is a subject that we all like. The life of a frog is an informational text, as well as this, the second one, which is called the life cycle of a sunflower. In these three texts, actually, including how do baby animals grow as well, we are going to learn a lot of information about bears, animals, as we can see, about some flowers and about frogs. And it's going to explain us to us the life cycles and how do baby animals grow together. All of these informational texts always provide us with a lot of information about a certain subject. In week four, we are going to move to poetry, which is a very important, important genre, genre that you guys need to learn in this age. Poetry collection is a very interesting poem. You are going to read these poems. You are going to um, uh, describe the elements of poetry to create new understandings of the text. The last text in this unit is going to be drama which is a play that is called Bigger Shoes for the Big Race. Identify the elements of plays and what makes them unique. We are going to talk also about plays in this unit. It's going to be very interesting, guys. This unit's goal or theme is to talk with others about how living things grow and change because we are going to talk, as I said, about the life cycles of the sunflower and the frog and how do animals grow. Read informational text and understand it, its elements because all of these texts are informational and use language to make connections between reading and writing informational text. You know what guys, after reading these texts, we are going to practice how to write our own informational text and how to boost our research skills. Now let's move to the next unit, which is Imagine That. We are going to read fables, folk tales, and poetry. As you can see, the ant and the grasshopper, the clever monkey, and poetry collection again. We will also read another fable that is called The Cow and the Tiger, and the persuasive, persuasive text that is called Thumbs Up for Art and Music. This unit's goal or theme to, is to talk with others about how we use our imaginations, read traditional stories, and understand the elements of the genre. Use language to make connections between reading and writing traditional stories. You know, guys, that these stories are imaginary stories, like fables or folk, to folk tales. So we are going to you to learn how to use our imagination skills when we read them, and even when we try to write ones. The last unit is going to be making history. We are going to read biographies, our historical fiction texts like Through Georgia's Eyes, Jackie Robinson, Before the Railroad Came, What is the Story of Our Flag, and Eleanor Roosevelt. These are biographies that tell us uh, um, uh, real and important information about historical important figures. This unit's theme is to talk with others about people who have made history and read biographies and understand the elements of the genre. And in the last unit, we are going to have more and more informational texts every season, seasons around the world in spring, my autumn book, Signs of Winter. 
So these are the units that we are going to study throughout this year. Just assure you that it's going to be an amazing one as I told you at the beginning of my video. At the end of my video, I want to say thank you all for listening and love you so much.